who supported his tears in the waters, who pledged the vows of Christmas, who walked the hard way of the wilderness, who made his angels spirit and his ministry the sign of fire, who established the earth in the assurance thereof, it shall not be turned back for ever and ever. The events that are guarded as an angel upon the mountains shall no longer stand. At their rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder they shall be their prey. The mountains rise up in the same area, and the place where thou hast established them. Thou appointest a bow that they shall not pass, neither return to them the earth. He sendeth forth the springs into the valleys, between the mountains where the waters run. They shall give grain to all the beasts of the field, the wild asses will be to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven lodge, from the midst of the rock of the world. He waters the mountains from his chambers, the earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of the work. He causes the ground to grow with the cattle and green herbs and springs from him, to bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine makes God the heart of man, to make his trees cheerful with oil, and bread strengthen in his heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of the mountains which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nests, the house of the hares the sheep of the wind. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock of the hares. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou pointest the darkness, and there is the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad. He has wine and roaring after his prey, seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down again. Man shall go forth unto his work, and unto his labor to be remain. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth, earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea, wherein are things creeping and innumerable, as well as the creatures of the great. There go the ships, there is the wise one, whom thou hast made in the great All things wait on thee. Thou givest it them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away their face, they shall be cut off. Thou wilt make their spirit, and they shall see, and none to their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages, the Lord is the joint of his work. Who looketh on the earth and maketh it tremble, who fashioneth the mountains and makes the moon? I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant unto my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him. I will rejoice in the Lord. Oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that would sing you, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knoweth his going down. Thou pointest the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are the works of the Lord, who wisdom hath them in the home. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 to the glory be of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the Holy Church of God, and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for those who have paid reverence in the fear of God and therein, for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, for the venerable priest of the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For Metropolitan Paul and Archbishop John, for their quick release from captivity and safe return. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the President of the United States and all civil authorities and our forces everywhere, especially Ronnie, Peter, Andrew, Joshua, Benjamin, Thaddeus, Adam, Alex, Will, Skyler, Madison, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, for a helpful season, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and suffering, especially those suffering from the COVID virus and their families, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, help us, save us, have mercy upon us. Keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. All in your remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious, many Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us pray. 
commend ourselves and each other and our whole life under your grace, our God.
of thy dispensation, O Lord. Thou didst take thy disciples and ascend the mountain of all this, passing through the firmament and of heaven. Wherefore thou who becamest humble for thy sake, and who didst ascend to the place from which thou couldst not be separated, send down thy most holy spirit to illumine our souls.
the house of God shall be on the summit of the mountain, and it shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall come to it. And many people shall go and say, Come, let us ascend the mountain of the Lord, and go to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will tell us his way, and we will walk in it. Wisdom. The reading is from the prophecy of Isaiah. Let us ascend. Thus saith the Lord, Go ye pass through my gates, make ready my pathway, and make a way for my people, and cast the stones out of the way. Lift up a standard for the nations. For behold, the Lord hath proclaimed to the end of the earth. Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy Savior is come, having his reward with him, and his work before his countenance. And he... And he shall call them by a, call them a holy people, redeemed of the Lord, and thou shalt be called the city sought out and not forsaken. Who is this that come from, comes from Edom, with red garments from Bozar, so fair in his apparel? He cries with mighty strength, I speak of righteousness and saving judgment. Wherefore are thy garments red, and thy raiment as if fresh from the trodden winepress? I am full of trodden grape, I have trodden the winepress utterly alone. In the nations there is not a man with me. I remember the mercy of the Lord. I shall recall the virtues of the Lord, the praises of the Lord in all things wherein he recompensed us. The Lord is a good is a good judge to the house of Israel. He dealeth with us according to his mercy and according to the multitude of his righteousness. And he said, Are ye not my people? They are my children, and they shall not set me at naught. And he became for them salvation out of all of their affliction. Not an ambassador nor an angel, but the Lord himself saved them, because he loved them and spared them. He himself redeemed them and took them up, and lifted them up for all the days of eternity. Wisdom. The reading from the prophecy of Zechariah. Let us ascend. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, and his feet shall stand in that day on the Mount of Olives, which lieth opposite Jerusalem on the side whence is the dawning of the sun. And in that day living water shall come forth out of Jerusalem, half of it toward the former sea, and half of it toward the latter sea. And so it shall be in summer and spring. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day there shall be one Lord, and his name one, compassing all of the earth, and the wilderness of Gaza unto Ramon, to the south of Jerusalem. And he shall be exalted, and shall remain in that place from the gate of Benjamin to the place of the first gate, to the gate of Gomor, and to the tower of Amamiel, and to the gate of the corners as far as the king's wine presses. They shall dwell therein, <coughs> and there shall be no more anything accursed, and Jerusalem shall dwell in peace. Let us pray to the Lord.
above all the earth. O oh God, my heart is ready. Is done. Reading us from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us attend. In the first book of Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up, after he had given commandment through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. To them he presented himself alive after his passion by many proofs, appearing to them during forty days and speaking of the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he charged them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You heard from me, for John baptized with water, but before many days you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. And when he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While they were still gazing into heaven as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Then they returned from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. He speedily that readeth and trusted. Bye. 
of the United States and all civil authorities and our armed forces everywhere. The Lord God remember them in his kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. For the Orthodox servants of God, especially for the Archpriest Wayne, Juan de Teresa, Michelle, Lucia, Aaron, Lydia Thomas, Sidian, Matt and Allison, for Emily, Maggie, Kelsey, Stacy, Michelle, that they have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon and their remission of sins. <clears throat> the Lord God remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. For the Orthodox servants of God departed this life, especially for the Orthodox Lives. And for the archpriest John, who is departed, the Lord God remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of of our sins and transgressions, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord, this, o Lord that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all and to thy spirit. Let us love one another, that with one accord we may confess.
Christ is in our midst. He is, he is and never shall, shall be. be. The doors, the doors, in wisdom let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made. Of, of one essence with the Father, Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory, judge, the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshiped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear. Let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. O oh, mercy of peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with thy spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is meet and right to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. It is meet and right to him thee, to bless thee, to praise thee, to give thanks unto thee, and to worship thee in every place of thy dominion. For thou art God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, and eternally the same. Thou and thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit. Thou it was who to spring us from non existence into being, and when we had fallen again, just raised us up and didst not cease to do all things until thou hast brought us back to heaven and hast endowed us with thy kingdom which is to come. For all these things we give thanks unto thee and to thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit, for all things of which we know and of which we know not, and for all the benefits bestowed upon us, both manifest and unseen. And we give thanks unto thee also for this ministry which thou dost vouchsafe to receive at our hands, even though there stand beside thee thousands of archangels and ten thousands of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft, borne on their pinions, singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, With these blessed powers, we also master all mankind. Cry aloud and say, Holy art thou, O holy, thou that only begotten Son of thy Holy Spirit. Holy art thou, O holy, magnificent is thy glory. Who has so loved thy brother to give that only begotten Son, that all who believe in him should not perish, but have the last thing. Mighty and come and have fulfilled all the dispensations before us in the night in which he was betrayed and rendered, gave himself up for the life of the world, took bread in his holy and pure and blameless hands. The wind he had given thanks, and blessed it, and hallowed it, and broke it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles. Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. And likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink ye all of this, this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. 
having in remembrance, therefore, the saving commandment and all those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the grave, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the session at the right hand, and the second and glorious advent. Thine own of thine own we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. And make this bread the precious body of thy Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of thy Christ. Amen. Changing them by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That to those who shall partake thereof, they may be unto cleansing of soul, unto the remission of sins, unto the communion of thy Holy Spirit, unto the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven unto boldness toward the anatta to judgment or unto condemnation. And again, we offer unto thee this reasonable service for all those who in faith have gone before us to their rest, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially our all holy immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. In unison, we believe us for the Holy Prophet, for the precious John, for the Holy Lord, Salvador, the Apostles, for the grace of the feast, the ascension of our Lord, which we celebrate, and the intercessions of all the saints, and through supplication look down upon us, O God, be mindful of those who fall asleep before us in the hope of resurrection and eternal life eternal, especially our men by the lives, and the Archpriest John, grant them rest, O our God, with life and light, the captain that shines upon us. forces everywhere. Grant them, O oh Lord, peaceful times that we in their tranquility may lead a calm and peaceful life in all godliness and sanctity. Among the first be mindful, O Lord, of our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. And Grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with Calling to remembrance all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the precious gifts which have been offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that our God, who loves mankind, receiving them upon his holy, heavenly, and ideal altar for an odor of spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. Thee, 
and vouchsafe, O Lord, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God as Father, and to say, kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all and to thy Spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. Through the grace and compassion and love toward man, of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Look down, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from thy holy dwelling place, and from the throne of the glory of thy kingdom, and come to sanctify us. O thou who sitteth on high with the Father, and art here invisibly present with us, and vouchsafe by thy mighty hand to impart unto us thine immaculate body and precious blood, and through us unto all the people. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Let us attend. Holy things are for the holy. Broken is Never eaten yet, never consumed, but sanctified those who partake the Lord. The fullness of the cup of the faith of the Holy Spirit. that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who is come into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. And I believe that this is truly thy own immaculate body, and that this is truly thy own precious blood. Wherefore I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of worthy of deed, of knowledge and of ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of thy immaculate mysteries unto remission of my sins and unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystic supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mystery to thine enemies. Neither will I give thee a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom, not into judgment, nor into condemnation, be my partaking of thy holy mysteries, O Lord, but unto the healing of soul and body. Forgive me. Forgive me, my brothers and sisters. Lord, I die unto Christ, our mortal King and our God. Precious and holy God, our Lord, 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 our
as king of all the earth, O oh, chant ye with understanding. God is God. God sitteth upon his holy throne. God is God of in jubilation. The Lord with the voice of the sins and for life everlasting. O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. attend, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. We give thanks unto thee, O Lord, who lovest mankind, benefactor of our souls and bodies, for that thou hast vouchsafed this day to feed us with thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, establish us all in thy fear, 
Guard our life, make firm our steps through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all thy saints. For thou art our sanctification and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the let us pray to the Lord. We give thanks unto thee, O Lord, who lovest mankind, benefactor of our souls and bodies, for that thou hast vouchsafed this day to feed us with thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, establish us all in thy fear. Guard our life, make firm our steps, through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all thy saints. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Missile. <laughs> Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May he who in glory ascended from us into heaven and sat at the right hand of God the Father for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we have now celebrated, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of St. Barnabas, the patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Blessed feast, glorious feast of the ascension of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ into heaven. Um, he ascended with glory, as, as the dismissal said. But you know, the way to glory is through humility. This is the, the kingdom way. There is no other way to true glory. You know, in this world, people seek all kinds of glory, but that's not heavenly glory. It's not true glory. We might be the glory of money, might be the glory of fame, celebrity, of whatever, you know, being popular, <laughs> whatever that earthly glory is. It is not glory at all. It's just pride. It's just ego. It is empty. It is rotting. <laughs> it is of no use whatsoever except for a little while, for a little gratification in this world. True glory is the glory of the ascension, the glory of Christ's human body ascending into heaven to sit down glorified at the right hand of the Father. You know, Jesus came down to earth in humility um, because, as we know, he existed as God, existed he thought it not robbery to be equal to God, even though he was equal to God. Uh, of course, why would he consider it robbery? Because he is God. He is God of God from his Father. All that his Father is, the Son is by nature. And so he existed in the form of God, as the scriptures tell us. But he emptied himself. He set that aside in humility. Whatever that means for God to empty himself and take on our flesh, 
of clay. <laughs> he did this great action of humility. And it was done not with fanfare and trumpets, but in a cave, you know, witnessed only by a few shepherds who came to visit uh, after the angels had proclaimed to them. But that was all. Only to the shepherds was this proclaimed because, again, God is humble. He lived his life in humility. The first 30 years of his life, we don't really know very much about. It's mystery. He just, we assume, submitted to his family and worked and uh, was a time of formation and preparation, humanly speaking. Though he was the son of God, he also had to learn humility as a human, as a human son. And, uh, and the formation that took place and his religious education and these sorts of things. Then, you know, his entire ministry was one of humility. He didn't trumpet himself as being, look, I'm the son of God, listen to me. You know, it was, he spoke the truth. And if your heart reflected that truth, you responded to him. Uh, his everything, his actions, his, his crucifixion, his denial. Crucifixion, the most beyond humbling, it was humiliating. And yet he endured this, despising the cross, looking forward to the glory ahead. His burial, you know, taken down from the cross and a couple of disciples shuffling him off and putting him in a, a, a tomb hewn out of the rock. And then, of course, we know his glorious resurrection. But even that, in humility, no one was there. The women came the next day and found the tomb empty. And when they were told by the angels that he had risen, they almost couldn't believe. It was everything that he did for us, every opportunity for glory on earth he avoided. Every opportunity to prove who he was, even after his resurrection, his ascension into heaven was witnessed by only 12 people, his 11 disciples and his mother. It would have been a wonderful opportunity for him to vindicate himself, to show to the unbelieving and lawless Jews, the Pharisees, the scribes, the lawyers, that he was the Son of God. Those who mocked him while he hung on the cross, if he is the Son of God, let him come down now and prove himself. He never did. And he never came back to put their faces in it. He left the same way that he came and the same way that he lived, in humility, but ascended into glory, taking our humanity with him to glorify us and seat us at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. We want that glory. There's only one way, humility. We have to learn to humble ourselves before, not only before God, but before men. And not only before men, but before circumstances, before trials, before sufferings. Not complaining, not expecting more, not saying, I am better than this. I deserve better. No, but accepting in humility, in submission, as Jesus did. Everything I do, I do as the Father has shown me. And I obey, you know, this is, this is the way. If Jesus is the way, the truth, the life, well, this is the way, the truth, the life, humility. We have to learn to be like Jesus if we want to ascend with Jesus Christ in glory. To the glory of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.